alive. Well, um, Bell, thanks for getting rid of my, um, giggling ting. Uh, you're welcome, I guess, Gordon. And how much do I own you? It will have to cost you 500 pounds. Oh, come on, Gordon, it's a very expensive job. Ungrateful. Hey, Bell. Oh, uh, why can I not stop farting in my firebox? Hey, Gordon! Ah! Oh, you two! Well, aren't you two not gone to sleep yet? Has Edward not even give you a, your bedtime story? He used the last one for Bill and Ben. Right. What do you two want? Oh, we could just listen to your firebox farting. So? and Percy started to chuckle. Rattler Gordon's keeping it all awake. Keep Percy. The only engines keeping other engines awake, of Gordon Crossley, are little engines with very bad manners. But secretly he felt rather embarrassed. In the morning, Percy teased Gordon again. Rattle box is awake at last. He puffed out loud. Gordon ignored Percy. He did not like being called names. I'm the strongest and the best, he told himself. Strongest and best, strongest and best, cleanest and fastest, and pull the express. He wished the other engines would remember that. Later, Gordon pulled into Napford Station. Oh, look. Laughed Emily. Rattler Gordon's here. He's pulling the click clunk express. This is very cross indeed. Yes. I hope your click clunk gets better soon, oil diesel. You are dead. No! You are <laughs> You are dead! Not big surprise. You can acknowledge me. Gordon was very cross indeed. He decided it was time the other engines learned to treat him properly. Ha oh, ha, I'm touching Gordon's cold chip. Say hello to- Acknowledge me! At Matford, Percy had brought Gordon's coaches into number one platform. Acknowledge me! Stop posting about Among Us! I'm tired of seeing it! And Percy puffed away as he farted all over Gordon's coaches. Now Gordon was really triggered. Later that day, the engines were watching the television when Gordon appeared on the telly. These people, these are all my people because they acknowledge me! I am your boss, your king of this railway. You're all gonna fall in line for me. Or else. I will force you to fall in line for me, because I am your boss, your man. Screw Topham anyways, I am the best on this railway, and you all suck, and you're going to fall down in line for me. Now you're all going to give me a polite two twister when you pass me, because that's when you're going to acknowledge God and the big engine. Acknowledge me. And with that. Gordon puffed away as he went off live on TV. How does that top shake get on the television? Gordon steamed across the island. He felt very pleased with himself. He, he was sure the other engines would forget his clunk click and treat him properly now. He saw you can choose it to me if you like, wished Emily, but I'm not going to. Ha oh, ha, I get wrecked, man. Emily's dead to me. She's so dead to me. She broke my promise. 
she won't acknowledge me, so I'm gonna kill her myself. Jordan raced down the main line as fast as he went, but he couldn't find Emily, because he didn't know that Emily stopped and Henry started to trick him. Gordon went fast and fast and fast. He went so fast that something was up ahead on the main line, which he didn't know. Standing in Henry's forest was a bunch of few tankers. Oh no! Ah!